Hello, in this video I'm going to show you some virtual tools that you can use in your virtual classroom. So here I have a website called Tinkercad. It is one of my favorite websites to use for virtual learning. If you go to the Teach tab, you'll see there is a button for Explore Lesson Plans. And there are already pre-made lesson plans for you for all subjects, including art, computer science, design, engineering, language arts, math, science, social studies, and technology. So you can use this in a number of different subject areas. For my STEAM class, which is what I teach, I actually decided to use this design your dream room um, lesson plan. And it's for grades five through eight, but honestly, I'm using it for ninth grade. You can use it for 10th, 11th. You can really um, change it or alter it for whatever grade. Um, your teaching and you can take a look at other lesson plans that are around but what's really great about these lesson plans is they have learning objectives they have standards and they also have materials and on the left hand side you can see they have the different steps of the lesson and also about how much time it will take for each step of the way so in total it says this will take six hours you can um, plan this and put this in your curriculum mapping and use this in your classroom. What you can also do with Tinkercad is you can actually invite students to your classes. So I have four um, STEAM classes and I named them group one, two, three, four, and I have all my students join into those classes and I can actually send them assignments. I can see uh, which activities they've completed. I can see the designs that they've, they've made and because I do have 3D printers at my school, I can also more easily 3D print their designs or um, have them 3D print their designs when we do get to go back into our classroom. If you go to the Learn tab, it has some starter lessons so you can learn how to use it. You can also use a bunch of other little mini lessons um, as well in addition to the actual curriculum and uh, fully designed lesson plans that we just saw from the Teach tab here. So a few different options. Um, like I said, I've been using this Design Your Dream Room and what I've actually done is I've shared the link to Google Classroom so my students can actually see what the assignment is going to be. They can see the evalu um, evaluation rubric here and I can also use this when I'm evaluating um, student work and it's really great stuff. Now what I did with my particular class is I used a Jamboard for this first section, where is it, the research, um, for their dream room and they were brainstorming ideas. So anytime I have like a brainstorming session or anything like that with students, I use Jamboard. And as you can see on the screen here, this is when we were in class and they were bringing in all these pictures and designs or things they wanted to put in their room. They were having a real good time with that. And that's just the um, brainstorming and research part of this project. Then there's a sketch portion of the project and they have graph paper for this here. And what I like to do for um, sketching at any time you're in a class where it requires some planning, some sketching, whether it's in science or in um, you know, a STEAM class, STEM class, any kind of sketching or pre-planning or brainstorming, really any class that you have that in, um, you can use what's called sketch noting. This is a YouTube channel that I really like that you can use to help you um, show students how they can actually use visuals to help with note taking, brainstorming, and anything like that. So I highly recommend checking out this channel. And because we're fully virtual right now, and a lot of schools are, um, we use uh, Wacom tablets, these digital drawing tablets that you can plug into your computer and students have them so that they can actually, you know, draw and sketch stuff out and it's a much more interactive and kinesthetic way for them to process information and learning and so I highly recommend also using uh, drawing tablets with your uh, computers. Then I have a PowerPoint presentation that I use with Pear Deck and Pear Deck is another, um, it's an add-on that you can use with Google Slides and the reason I really like it is because you can add it straight to Google Slides. You can make all your 
presentations and on the right hand side here you'll see I can add uh, drawing questions, I can add um, draggable question, choice, multiple choice um, typing, it's just like a lot of different options for what I can add to my presentation. And then of course no presentation is complete without a bitmoji, of course. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, please let me know in the comments if there is anything you would add or anything you would like to know more about. Um, and I hope I can make more videos like this to help you guys out.